In this session, we will learn about uh, microbit. So I will introduce you what is microbit and uh, we will do some activities with uh, microbit, okay? So guys, uh, microbit is a, uh, uh, so I can introduce it as a little computer. Uh, a computer means, uh, so you know, with uh, our traditional computers, what we are doing is we give some inputs and then it will process and then it will give us some output. Uh, so that's what uh, we are doing with our computers and even our mobile phones have the same face features we type some number and press OK, then we will uh, get a call and then it will dial likewise, it can do some functions with our inputs and they give us an output. Same as that, uh, the micro uh, bit also a little computer like device. Uh, so what it can do is it has a couple of sensors and it can uh, take the uh, uh, inputs which is given by us and then it can process it and it can give us some output uh, and it's a little piece of uh, hardware that we can program, okay? Uh, so to do this uh, session properly, we have to have a micro bit uh, device but uh, it's okay, we can have some simulators that we can play with. So you can see that the, there is a micro bit I have shown in my display. So can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So when you're having a micro bit, it will be like this, this kind of small piece of uh, hardware component. And it's very small, and uh, you can see here that uh, when we when we compare in the size, it will be like a credit card. And uh, let's check uh, what we have with our micro bit. So, guys, uh, in micro bit, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we have to have some inputs to give some uh, feeds to the micro uh, device. So here. You can see we have two buttons with uh, our micro bit hardware. And then uh, there are a uh, few LEDs and it's like a LED matrix. Uh, that means uh, it's a square shaped uh, LED, uh, set of LEDs and totally there will be 25 LEDs. Uh, and uh, you can use this LED uh, as a display. So here you can see there's a, a smiley face which is represented with these LEDs. So in our lessons, we will uh, learn how we can do those stuff with our micro bit. And guys, uh, as I mentioned, uh, this is uh, something like a little uh, a computer. And uh, uh, so we need to have some software to work with it. In our typical computers, we have our programs uh, inside our computer. But here, when we are using this micro bit, we have to program it by ourselves. Uh, so there is a USB adapter here, which we can connect it with our computer. And uh, we, our inputs are not limited to these two buttons, but uh, we have some uh, amazing uh, inputs like uh, we can take uh, measure temperature and light and sometimes we can uh, measure the accelero acceleration using accelerometer uh, and there is a compass so we can take these uh, parameters read those stuff from your hard piece of hardware and you can write simple programs uh, or you can go to complex programs as well uh, and uh, then uh, when you can uh, then you can uh, give some inputs through these things and get some output you can uh, make some projects with it you can make some games with it, with using micro bit and uh, as a computer it should have something to process so uh, when we take the input the uh, input should be processed so there is a process in the uh, micro bit processor in the micro bit and so because it's very tiny we call it a microprocessor and uh, further there are some pins 
so when you go to our uh, microbit actual microbit board you can see there's a golden color uh, pads in the bottom so those are the pins so when you want to take a signal out or if you want to take uh, some voltage uh, output from your microbit you can use these pins so there is three basically there will be three pins 0 1 2 and 3 uh, sorry 0 1 2 0 1 and 2 and this 3 volt will out uh, make a uh, output where you can have 3 volt output and here this is a ground pin and uh, even these pads also act as pins okay and uh, we will check how we can use these pins as well when we are doing our programming part and to program the micro bit uh, you can use your own computer so having a usb cable and you can plug it into your computer and uh, the other end you can plug it into your uh, micro bit device and then you can uh, program your micro bit and once it's programmed, uh, you can connect some batteries and uh, you can uh, run the program in your micro bit without uh, connecting it to the computer. So it will work stand alone. Uh, so here you can see there is a small connector here. So once you uh, plug uh, batteries to this connector, you can run the program without any support from any voltage or any support from your computer. Uh, then, then we should know how to program your micro bit. So there's a couple of methods that we can program. Uh, first is uh, you can use uh, code blocks. So uh, I hope you can remember in previous lessons, we did some uh, activities with scratch so they are we use some uh code blocks to program and you can drag the block and uh, then uh, you can uh, run it and uh, if we go further we can uh, write the codes with the programming languages like javascript as well uh, but for this session we will uh, stick into this uh, code block and guys because we don't have a micro bit device right now we can uh, play uh, or we can simulate the activities with a simulator. Uh, basically, a simulator is a program that we that we uh, run uh, the features of the device without having a device. Uh, so to do the activities, I have selected this uh, make code micro bit. Uh, uh, site and it has a good simulator with it uh, so i will uh, copy and paste the link so you all can go there and check uh, what we can do with the uh, simulator so the link is https makeout.microbit.org so can you all go there Can you all get my link? So I have already installed the software. Okay, you can install software as well. Uh, and uh, others can go to the web page and uh, we can uh, do some simple activities with uh, using this uh, simulator. Okay, I will give a couple of uh, minutes so you can go there and check uh, what we have uh, in here. Or uh, when you go to the uh, web page you can click here the new project button and you can uh, give a project name so i will give session three and click the create button here and we can log into the simulator so can you all go there and check excuse me sir yes uh, do we have to download the micro bit software? Sorry? Do we have to download the micro bit software? Uh, uh, there are some options to download as well, but uh, now you don't have to download. You can directly use your web browser. You can open your web browser uh, and then you can type the uh, address I have given here 
in your url bar then you can go to the web page and you uh, what you can do is you can create a uh, new project okay okay thank you you can uh, use your web browser and type https so make code uh, dot microbit dot org then you will come to the uh, web page and now you can start your own project did you all get it any questions sir excuse me uh, we yes. can't see the screen sir it's only the presentation uh, okay okay i'll share my screen okay so what you can do is uh, you, you can open your browser so this is my browser uh, can you all see it my browser yes sir okay then type https make code dot microbit dot org and here it is then you can uh, create new project and give a project name and you can press create button here there's a button called create here then a new project will start and you will log into a page like this okay so we will uh, have some uh, minute uh, time to uh, log into the simulator and if someone has any issue you can let me know i will help you so if anyone having any issue with the uh, make code let me know i, I will help you and i will put uh, i have put uh, the link uh, in the uh, chat as well you can simply copy and paste it in your browser sir yes sir do we need a microbit for this project uh it's better if you have a device but we can play with the simulator as well so we can uh, simulate or we can run the course which we are using with the simulator and see what's the output but uh, if you have a device it's better and you can play it with uh, uh, as well okay. do okay do you have one no sir okay so you can uh, so far uh, the activities i have prepared are all compatible with the simulator uh but uh, we will try to have a uh, physical device as well okay okay sir okay guys so then uh let's check what we have with the, our simulator environment <clears throat> so you can see a microbit device in your corner in the corner of the screen uh so that is the device which is simulated and here you can see there is two button with the the microbit device and here you can see uh, the led matrix and in your uh, uh, right hand side you can see there is two code blocks so these blocks are used to our uh, program or uh, to feed your program so we can delete this as well uh, i will let you know what these uh, blocks are doing uh, <clears throat> and uh, same as the scratch there are some uh, code blocks you can uh, drag and drop into your programming environment so we can just go to the tabs i i mean the basic tab here and you can select what is the block you want to have and you can simply drag it and drop and when you want to program it in sequential way you can connect it with the available blocks okay uh, and guys there is uh, two uh, blocks are available uh, when you are open the simulator so this on start is a block uh, where you uh, uh you can run a, a set of codes at the very beginning when you start the uh device 
So once, once I put something in on start, it will run uh, once and uh, it will run when we power up the uh, device and it will uh, stop uh, once it's uh, run. Then in the forever block, uh, it will run again and again. So I have taught you uh, about uh, loops in the scratch session, I think. Uh, so in there, I taught you about the forever loops. The forever loops are the uh, places where it run again and again and again. Uh, so this forever block is to run uh, such kind of codes. Uh, so first of all, I will show you how we can uh, display something on the uh, LED matrix so that you can go to the basic tab and there is a uh, uh, the first block is show number. So what you can do is you can uh, uh, drag it here and you can drop where, where, where you want. So I will put uh, uh, it inside on start. So once my uh, device is turned on, it will show the number. So you, if you want to uh, change the number, you can enter number uh, in this uh, little circle here. So it will show it there. Uh, and likewise, you can uh, drag anything uh, and drop inside the blocks you want. Uh, and you can delete these blocks also. And if you want them back, you can go to the basic tab. And when you scroll down, there is on start. And forever block also available there. Uh, and as our first task, uh, what we can do? So shall we create some uh, uh, animation? Yes. So I will create uh, something like a blinking heart shape. So that uh, what I can do is uh, I will go to basic tab and there is a, a block called show LEDs. So once you drag show LEDs here, uh, it will fit into the forever block. And now you can toggle these little squares. So once we toggle one, uh, let me show you. Yeah. Okay. Now it's seen. Uh, you can see that uh, the LED corresponding to the small block is turned on. Now, if you want to create some shape, you can toggle uh, accordingly. Okay, I'll create uh, a little uh, image here with uh, blinking the, uh, toggling the little squares. And now I can see it in my screen. And uh, now, I want this to be blinked. So what I can do is I can go to the basic tab here and uh, drag another show LED block here and drop it there. And I will turn off all the blocks. Now what happened is my forever loop will run uh, forever and it will repeat again and again. And first it will show my shape and then it will turn off all my LEDs. And when it uh, happened in too quickly, it will appear as something blinking. So can you all uh, create your own shape and show it to me? We can have some nice animations as well. So once you uh, create uh, this kind of shape and it will appear in like an animation. You can add some frames further and add another set of soil LED block. And now it will appear as this. So you can create your own uh, screen here and light up and make some animation. So I'm waiting you to do, uh, create some beautiful animation and uh, show it to me, okay? Did you all get it? Any questions?
sir guys? i made an animation so can i see it can you share screen let me give you permission okay i will stop sharing my screen okay very nice thank you sir nice uh so we will give uh, sir, i also i also man animation can i show you yes yes you can show it to me nice very nice thank you sir. okay we will let others to create some animation and uh, let's see what uh, they can show me sir i made an another animation may i share yeah yeah you can share nice ah yeah, very nice second is screen share yes you can share okay very nice so you can add uh, frames as much as you want and you can uh, create a little story as well with your uh, led but the uh, there is a limitation because you have a small set of pixels like small set of uh, leds but you can create a story as well with what you are available you can uh, add the frames much as you want yeah, like yeah, okay can you can you share it nice very nice okay nice so someone has said some music as well so i will taught you uh, for the rest of others i will taught you how we can add the music as well okay nice okay good and we have a couple of uh, means and you can show the rest of others also can show you a Uh, animations nice okay uh so someone put uh, in the chat that he can't enter the microbit web browser so can you please share your screen so uh, we can check the, what has happened the student who can't uh, enter the microbit web browser uh, can you please share your screen so we can see what has happened and i will be able to help you or else uh, you can wait couple of second and you can check whether your internet connection is okay then you can enter it uh, maybe they are maybe so once you let me show you so once you enter the web browser it will appear as this
So you can log into the web uh, browser and you can enter the uh, URL here and the web page appear as this. And now you can create a new project from here. Can you do it? Once you enter the web browser, you can enter the URL and I will copy and paste the URL in the chat again. So you can copy it and paste it in your web browser and then create a new, uh, then, then you can go to this web page and then you can create a new project by clicking this new project button. Did you fix the issue? So I made some project. Can I show you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can see. Uh, we will see it. So please show the coding blocks. Yeah, I will show you. Wait a minute. Okay. Can you uh show me the new? So this is the. Uh, so guys are you all good with the uh, animation activity yes sir okay so if uh, anyone uh, missed something, please let me know. I will help you. So can I change it? That an animation with the show lady. And I'll delete those. So can I can I share my screen? I have to do. Okay, we will see it. Can you show? Uh, so. No. Okay, now you can show. So, but I can't share. Uh, there is no option to share screen. Uh, can I share my hair? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. I have the uh, like my name is coming in the screen, but uh, uh -huh. I can't share the screen. Uh, yeah, can you okay? Another screen, okay, yeah, okay. Okay, can nice. Okay, guys, now, uh, shall we continue? So, we will learn uh, some more with the micro bit and we will create some more advanced uh, things as well. Okay, so can I share my screen? Yeah, yeah, you can share. Okay, very good. Okay, very nice. Then uh, we will learn some more things also. Uh, so we will check what we can do with uh, the rest of the blocks. Uh, and here you can see there is a show icon block here. So when I drag and drop here, uh, there is inbuilt icons you can use. So you don't need to uh, uh, draw it in your show LED block, but you can directly have you uh, have your uh, icons here. There are some couple of uh, inbuilt icons. You can use them and uh, you can run uh, here and you can see 
uh, the uh, icon which is appearing in the uh, microbit display which is uh, the LED screen. Now then, then there is a block called uh, show string. Uh, when you are using a string, you can uh, may display a set of letters which is uh, sliding through your screen. So let me uh, enter my name. And when I run it, the letters are appearing and it's sliding. So once you uh, create this kind of animation and when you uh, power it by a bad set of batteries, you can create your own name tag, uh, which is animated and which is sliding. So it will be very beautiful. Okay. Uh, then what? is the again so string and let me have some drawing here and I can play it and the I say another block called clear screen once you put the clear screen block uh it will uh erase all the uh blink leds here so you can see small blinking here that happened because we are clearing the screen when we loop in through the forever loop so you can uh, use the, uh, that blocks as well to create your animation okay then Next, so those are the output we have. We are having with our microbit. Then we will check on what are the inputs we are having. So I uh, mentioned that there is there are two buttons with the microbit. So we can use these buttons as well. Uh, to use these buttons, you can use this input tab. And in the input tab, you having a uh, block called on button, and then then there will be a name of the button and pressed. So once you uh, drag the button uh, block here and you can click this little arrow here. So here there is A, B and A plus B. First I will uh, drag some show LED block here and when I, I want to uh, show the letter A when I press button A. So let me so it will A here when I press button A. So once I uh, run the simulation, uh, there is nothing appearing. But when I press A, uh, letter A will appear. Now let's see uh, whether we can uh, see uh, let, uh, something when the, when the input B also click. So that I drag this block again, and then I can change the button here to B. So this, uh, the code inside this block will run when we click button B. So button B will be there. To demonstrate it to you, let me drag something here. And uh, yes, I will uh, draw a B here. Okay, then when I run, press B, a letter B will show here. I press A, another A will be showing here. So I can continue and uh, things will happen accordingly. And the next thing I want to teach you is when I go to input and drag uh, this here and when I click this arrow, you can see that A plus B also appearing. Then I'll go to basics and uh, I will uh, use an 
icon here with the show icon block and I will select this icon. And you can see now we having a A plus B button here. So guys, uh, what I wanted to teach you with the simulator here is uh, there is no actual A plus B button in your microbit device. What represent by the A plus B button here is the position or the situation where we press both A and B buttons together or simultaneously. And uh, in the simulator, we can't represent uh, the simultaneous pressing. So here uh, it will give you a button which is A plus B. So once we press A plus B button, it will show this icon. In the actual device, what A plus B is, the situation where you press both A and B together. Did you all get it? Yes, sir. Okay. So now you can uh, see when I press A, uh, the A will appear and when I press B, the B will appear and when I press A plus B or if you have an actual device, if you press both A and B together, you can see this sign. So you can add whatever you want uh, with these blocks and you can play with it and I will give you a couple of minutes so you can uh, create something with that uh, and uh, if you have any issue, please let me know. Then we will create some interest in your master. Yeah, uh, I said that I want to share the screen, but my device did support. Now I have logged in another device. Can I share my screen? Okay. Now you can share. Give me a second. I will uh, enable the sharing. Okay, now you can share. Okay, we can see your animation. So you are uh, having. Is it your name? Yes. Sir. Okay, very nice. And you can use those buttons as well. So uh, if you create something with those buttons, please let me know. We can share your uh, things uh, with the rest of us. I will give you a couple yes. of minutes and you can play with those buttons as well. Sir, can I show my? Okay, okay, you can show you. Okay, nice. So you can all can. Yeah, yeah, we can, uh, can. Yeah, you have used one cell cell, isn't it? Okay, nice. You can use the A plus B also when you're pressing the A and B together, it will show another animation. You can. Can I show my one? Okay, you can share. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, can I? Okay, you can share. Okay, nice. And when you press A and B, nice. Thank you, sir. So can I screenshot? 
Yeah, you can share. Okay, very nice. Anyone else? Nice. Okay, good. So can I share? Yes, yes, you can share. Okay, uh, then shall we check uh, what are the other options that we have with the microbit? I will teach some more to you and then you can create uh, another activities and you can play with it with those blocks as well. Okay, shall I share my screen? Is May I show my project? Okay, you can share. Nice, very nice. So then I will share my screen again. And then let's check uh, what we have uh, as inputs further. So let me delete those stuff. And uh, then I click input and here you can see there's another block. Uh, so once we use this block in the second the, the second block, uh, there is another uh, list here. So you can click those list this list, and you can see that there is some options like shake, uh, logo up, logo down, screen up, tilt left, likewise. So I have selected the shake one. Uh, so once I select this one in actual uh, micro bit environment what happen is uh, when i shake the micro bit it will execute the code inside this uh, uh, this block so i will add uh, a basic block here which is show icon and because i can't shake it with the simulator there will be a small button here which is uh, mentioned as shake. So once you press it, it uh, simulates the shaking of the device and it will show you the uh, icon I have uh, mentioned with this block. Okay. So that's how the shake will work. Uh, once I uh, use logo down, it will uh, work when I when the log is down. Likewise, you can have some animations with it uh, when you are uh, having a simple motion with the micro bit, and yes, you can play with it. So it's very interesting if you having have a a real device so person who have the real device can play with it and check uh, and uh, let us know whether it is working uh the rest of us can uh, rely on this uh simulator so i can use the shake here and uh, show the uh, icon okay now we have learned uh, some codes and uh, let's check what we can create with it. So guys, uh, as, our, as our first activity, we will create a dice game. So you all know what is a dice. 
So it's a cube which has a number, then it has six numbered from one to six. So what we are going uh, in, in the real world, what we are doing with the dice is we can roll the dice and there will be a random number. So you can play the board games with the, those dice and we will create the electronic dice using our uh, micro bit device. Okay, so it will be interesting. So first I'll go to my uh, simulator. And now what I'm planning to do is uh, when, when I shake my micro bit device, it should display a random number from one to six. So it will work as a dice. Okay, did you all get it? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So let's check uh, how we can create such a program. So first we have to consider what is the input we will use. So we need uh, to detect the shake. So guys, uh, I forgot to tell you to detect the, these uh, shakes. There is a my accelerometer in the uh, device. So when we are uh, seeing the actual board, uh, you can see there is an accelerometer here. So the accelerometer is the device which can detect the uh, shaking and in our card block, I'll uh, get the on shake block here. And what I want to uh, display is a number. So I can use the show number block. So once I shake, it will uh, display a number. Now it is displaying zero. So what I want to display is not the zero, but I want to display something like uh, a random number from one to six. So you can go to math uh, tab here and here there is a couple of math operations you can use and you can uh, click this pick random uh, block here and it's a uh, block with this kind of shape and you can drag and uh, join it with this show number uh block now i want to uh, set the range where i want to the random number so i will uh, put one here and i want to have a random number from one to six then once i shake it it will uh, give me a random number so i will shake it again and there's another number and i will shake it again Okay, now it's five, now it's six. Likewise, it will give a random number once it's shake. Uh, so can you guys use that shake uh, uh, in shake as your gesture and uh, create something like this? We will check whether it's working with you. And the person who having an actual micro bit, can you please uh, check it and let others know whether it is working? So once you create this, uh, this kind of program, you can use this download button here. And it, uh, then you have to uh, connect the device and you can uh, press down done here and it will download to your device and you can play with it. Rest of us can uh, work with the simulator and we can create a nice simple dice game here. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can press the shake button, then it will uh, work. Okay, nice. Okay, shall we uh, add some sound uh, to the dice? Let me show you how to add the sound. Okay, nice. Okay guys, let me share my screen and I will show you how to add a sound for the dice. So you, there is a tab called music. So once you go there, there, is, there are many options that you can use as a uh, uh, chord to play a sound. Uh, so you can play some melodies, 
let's check how uh, we can play a melody. So let me have input and and when I press A, I should play a melody. And once you click the melody uh, editor here, you can uh, toggle the buttons according to what you want to play. And when I press A, it will play the melody. Uh, likewise, there are some other options to play music. You can play a tone. So I can click and drag this uh, play tone button here, block here. And you can change the key you want to uh, play. And once, it, once I press A, that will play. And uh, you can set volume as well. So the volume will be changed once we set volume here. Okay. Uh, and to our dice, uh, I will add uh, something like, um, let's go down here, play sound. Yes, I will add this block. So it will play a custom sound. And uh, once it is done, it will show the random number. So uh, once we shake our uh, device, it will play the sound and it will uh, show the number. So uh, let me go here and uh, let's select the sound. I like to the slide sound. Uh, so then I play and and here my number is appearing. Again, it will change. Okay. That's how we can add the sound. So you can play with these uh, components and check uh, what you can do with it. And you can show it to me. So can I show? Yeah, so yeah, you can. Yes. Okay, nice. Very nice. Another one? Sir, I uploaded it. Uh, may I show? Okay. Can you uh, show it to the rest of us? Guys, can we see it? Okay, guys. Yeah, very good. Excellent. It's very nice, isn't it? Once you shake it, it will uh, show a random number and it will act as a dice. Okay, very good. Nice. So then shall we continue? Okay, you, uh, you also can show it. Nice. Okay, now let me share my screen and I'll uh, teach you something else. Okay, you can play with. 
Okay, you have had a melody, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I will share my screen. Uh, and uh, so then guys, uh, this is uh, my card block to play the sound, but there is an issue with this micro bit. So some of the new versions of the micro bit have a speaker and a microphone as well. But uh, some of our micro bits may not have a microphone. So it's not issue because we are using the simulator. But when we are having it in the physically, they are may not have any speaker with it. So guys, although you drag the play sound block here, it may not play the sound. So what's the solution? So I will show you how we can fix the issue. Uh, so guys, we can connect an external uh, speaker to the uh, micro bit. So as I mentioned, uh, let me show you. So in the micro bit device, there are the pins in the bottom of the device. So this golden part is the pins. So you can use these pins as signal or voltage outputs. So when you are playing a sound, what you can do is you can connect your speaker or the uh, earphone or any kind of speaker to the micro bit by connecting it to these pins. So you can, what you can do is you can have a uh, something like crocodile clip. So crocodile clip is a clip that uh, conduct uh, current uh, through it. And you can have a wire with the crocodile clip and then uh, at the end, you can connect it to your uh, audio jack. So if you're using a microphone or something, you, you can see that there is a jack there. And most of these jacks have three parts and some, some may have much uh more parts so you can see in the diagram there's three parts so you can connect your zero pin to the tip of the jack and you can uh, connect the ground to the bottom part and then you can use your earphone or the speaker as the speaker for the micro bit device okay did you all get it Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Now, then uh, let's check what are the other inputs that we have. Uh, so we have this uh, one pin zero pressed. So these kind, we can use this kind of uh, blocks when we are using these pins. So that when there is a, a touch uh, and it can detect it and because we are not uh, using uh, the real device, uh, let's go much further and check whether, what, whether there is any interesting thing we can uh, use. Yes, you can see that there are some input, inputs like light level, compensating, temperature, likewise. So as I mentioned in our micro bit device, they are integrated accelerometer, and light sensor and temperature sensor. So you can use these things as well. So let me show you how we can use these things. So let's create something like a uh, temperature monitor. So to create it, uh, I'll go here, I'll, and I'll drag on start and I want to uh, say that we are creating a uh, thermometer here. So I can drag here the choice thing and at the very beginning we will use like temp to mention which uh, to mention that we are uh, measuring temperature 
and then I can go here and I can use the forever loop. And what I want to show is the te ambient temperature. Then So I want to show the temperature as a number. So I can use this show number here. And whatever the number I'm using, it will appear here. Temp. And it will be the number. Now it's 56 because I entered the 56. But what I want is I want to show the actual temperature. To show the actual temperature, we can go here and we can drag this temperature block and fix it there. And now it is showing the temperature. So guys, because we are using a simulator, we can't uh, measure the actual temperature. But once you have in this kind of block, you can see that there is a little uh, uh, icon there. So we can uh, use this to simulate the temperature. Now it is in the 21 Celsius point and we can uh, drag and change the temperature and it will appear in the display. So you can uh, create a very nice sensor with a display with using microbit very easily and you can measure the temperature whether uh, your uh, room is cold uh, check whether your room is cold or not likewise you can use this uh, temperature and then uh, yes you can uh, play with it and uh, someone can uh, show me whether it is working and then we will check on the uh, logic blocks available with us okay uh, can you try this activity and you can use other sensors as well you can use the uh, light level sensor uh, compass heading likewise you can use those things okay you can show it Very nice. Okay. You can use the buttons as well to uh, add some functions to your device. Okay. Very nice. Nice. You have used the light level, isn't it? The previous one? Yes, sir. 
Okay, very good. Very nice. Nice. Very good. Okay, shall we add some more features to our uh, temperature sensor? Okay, we look this and we uh, we will add some more features as well. You can share it. So can you teach us about the modulated JavaScript or Python? Uh, yes, we will try that also. But uh, today we will st stick into uh, code blocks okay. and then we will try to uh, learn it uh, to program with Python or my JavaScript as well. Okay. Okay. So thank you. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay, let's check another one and then we will add some more features to our sensor. Okay, very good. Okay, let me share my screen. Now. Now guys, I want to teach you uh, what's a variable. So in the uh, scratch lesson, lesson also, I have taught you about the variable. So uh, have you seen your jars in the kitchen? So in the jars, you can add whatever into the jar. Then when your mother said the jar in the corner, you can take it and you can bring the things in, in the jar. So likewise, variable is something all the value so you can ask the variable name and then we can take what is inside uh, so that's a simple explanation of a variable uh, so i think you have used these variables with your maths lesson like you are using x and you, you only use like x is equal to seven then once you say x plus one, then you add, can add seven plus one. Likewise, you are using variables in your math lesson. Uh, and in the programming environment also, you can use those variables. Now, what I'm going to do is I can make a variable here and I can name it as temp. And what the temp do is uh, it will hold a certain value and when i ask what is the temp it will give the value which is saved into this variable did you all get it or shall i explain it again guys sorry Okay, I will explain it again once. So variable is something uh, like a container or jar, which you can hold a value. So you can hold something temporarily a value inside the variable. So once you ask the variable name, it can give you the value inside the variable. So I uh, here in the variable tab i can create this make variable button and i can give a name and create a variable now i have created the variable temp so i can save a value in the temp and when i ask the value uh, it will 
give me what is inside the temp. So first of all, uh, what I want to do is uh, with the inside uh, within the uh, forever loop, I want to save the temperature inside my temp variable. To do so, I can go to this variable and here there is a block called set and I can drag and drop it here. And once the set uh, uh, block is there, we can select what is the variable we are using. So to demonstrate, I can create uh, another variable. Let's create as X. So I can select whether it is X or temp. Now I want to save the value in the temp variable and I want to save the temperature value. So if there's zero, it will save the zero as the value in, uh, in the temp variable, but because I want the temperature, I'll go to my inputs and let's check about the temperature and I can join these blocks now. My temperature will temporarily save inside this temp variable. Now I can write show number by, uh, here and instead of directly using the temperature uh, sensor, I can display the temp variable as well because we are saved the temperature in the temp, temp variable. Once we call uh, the temp variable, it will show the temperature. So I can go to my variables and drag the temperature variable here and drop it there. So let's check whether it is working. Yes, it's working. So I can take uh, uh, take the value from the temperature variable. So what happened here is the temperature value will save in the temp variable. And once we call the temp variable, it will show the value inside it. So as we uh, save the temperature value, it will show the temperature. Now I will try to use a logic block as uh, with my code. So uh, I'll create something like this. So once I uh, press button A, uh, I will check whether my temperature value is greater than some value. Let's see, uh, greater than 21. Uh, I want to have a, a sad face. And when it is below 21, it should be smiling face. To do so, I go to this logic tab and here there is if, if uh, blocks and if else blocks, those are conditional blocks. So the conditional blocks are the blocks where we can use and check whether the whether a condition is satisfied. Then once the condition is satisfied, it can run the code. So I think I have taught you the conditional blocks when we are using the scratch and with the game that I have created in the previous session. So I simply drag conditional block here and uh, I can add my condition here. Okay. Uh, the mic uh, to the task, my condition is to check the temperature and check whether it is greater than a certain value or not. And so we can go to logic tab and here there is a comparison blocks. So we can use these comparison blocks to compare things. So I'll use this block here and I can join it here. So once this uh, block is satisfied, uh, then the code inside this part will execute. Otherwise it will execute the else part, okay? That's how a conditional block works. Now, uh, now I want to compare uh, the temperature value. So what I can do is I can go to my variables and drag the temperature and drop it there. 
So we have pre, uh, running the forever loop again and again. And once I press the button here, it will uh, uh, take, uh, it will read the temp value, uh, the value inside the temp, and it will compare with this block. Now I want to compare and check whether my temperature is below 21. Now, if my temperature is below 21, I should have a smiling face. So I will drag a show LED here and- So you can okay. use an icon. Yes, we can use an icon as well. So it will be much easy, isn't it? So I can use an icon here. That's the smiling face. In the top right corner. Top right, ah, yeah. Thank you very much. And otherwise I can use a sad face. So I can. And sad face. And let's check whether it is working now we can play it and i can rise my temperature and press a and if there's a sad face when i uh, press button a and when i press something uh, when i use some uh, temperature below 21 and when i press button there's a smiling face can you see it yes okay then you can uh, create something like this and once you learn about uh, using these pins we can create something uh, like uh, when the temperature is below some uh, above some value, we can turn on the on a fan, uh, and uh, if the light level is a certain value, we can turn on a light. Likewise, we can do very interesting stuff. So, can we create games using microbe? Someone was asking a question when the card is happening, isn't it? Sir, he asked, uh, can we create games using microbe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can create uh, some interesting games. Uh, so uh, let's create some game in the next session as well. And if we had uh, some time, uh, we will try to have create uh, some small uh, rock, paper, scissors game as well. Okay. Uh, now, this is how we can, as I taught you, this is how we can use a logic block. So can you add some logic block to your uh, temperature sensor and uh, temper temperature monitor and show me? Sir, may I share? Okay, you can share. Nice, yes. Okay, guys, uh, shall we create some another uh, game at a, a little game which is rock, paper, scissors? So we have uh, some more time and I will show you how we can create uh, something like that. Okay. Then I will share my screen. Can you see my presentation? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so the rock paper scissor game is something like this. Uh, so you can, uh, I think you all know what's rock paper scissor game. Uh, so you have to have a partner with you, and uh, you can shake your hand and show a gesture with it. And it will be something like rock. If you representing a rock, right, it will like this. 
and you can show a scissor like this and if you want you can show a paper like this gesture and according to uh, the sign you are or gesture you are showing you will win uh, so if your friend shows a rock and you are showing the scissor the rock beats, beats the scissor and if it's paper and the scissor the scissor beats the paper and if you are showing a rock and your paper show, and your friend showing the paper the paper beats the rock so if you and your friend have two uh, uh, micro bit devices we can have something uh, we can create something like uh, a rock paper scissor game so we will use what we have learned today and we will create the game uh, so I will create it for you and you can improve it as well by adding some animation, sounds, and uh, anything you want. Uh, so then we will try to create the game. And I'll uh, clear all these things. And my uh, micro bit device. It will randomly select uh, what you are showing. So uh, it will select whether you are showing uh, rock or paper or scissor, and then it will uh, display the gesture. So you can uh, have a, a friend and you can check the device and uh, check whether you are or your friend is the winner, or you can uh, check your device and you can uh, play against your device. Uh, like this, you can uh, do the task. And so, because I want to uh, detect a uh, shape block here, and what I'm going to do is I'll create a variable. So in my variable, I'll create a variable called and and okay. Then I want to set my hand variable and the value which is uh, getting into this variable should be random. So I will uh, go to the map operations and they pick random number and I will generate a number from one to three so if I uh, get the random number one it will uh, represent uh, let's say rock and two will represent paper and three will represent the scissor so what I'm going to do is I will uh, uh, Take a logic block here and drop it here. And I want to check whether it is uh, one or two or three. And accordingly, I want to show the uh, gesture. So I want to compare the hand value. So again, I'll go here and drag this comparison block and drop it here. And I will compare my value in the hand and if my uh, value is one i would like to uh, display a scissor so i will create a symbol or icon of a scissor here this is my scissor and now i want to uh, compare it with value two and three as well so what I can do here is I can click uh, the plus little plus sign here. And because I want to compare with both uh, these uh, two and three as well, I can click again here. Then there will be a, another condition block. So I can go to logic and I can uh, drag he this here. And if my hand is to I will display the paper. For the paper, I will use uh, this symbol.
to show the rock, I'll use a uh, icon like this. Now all done. Then we can play and uh, check whether it is working. So this will execute once I shake the device. So I can shake it. Now it is uh, showing a paper. Now it is scissor randomly it is generating. Now it is rock. Rock, rock and paper, rock. Scissor, rock. Likewise, you can uh, shake it and either you can play uh, you and the device or you can uh, use two devices and you can play with your friend as well and like us we can create a simple game okay uh, so you can create something like that and uh, if you have created something uh, with your device you can show it to me uh, and if you have any question you can ask and we can clarify them any questions did you all get uh, what I did here? Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay. Sir. So we have a couple of means. So if you have created something, you can show it to me. Nice. Very nice. Anyone else? Nice, good. So if someone has any questions with the uh, things which we have learned today, you can ask. Muna hari prashan tiye na na, ahan na pulwa. Me api clarify karagamu. Are you all good with the task which we done today? Yes. 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 Any questions? No. Okay. Uh, so in our next lesson, we will learn uh, much for uh, much advanced things uh, that we can do with microbit. Okay. Something like uh, creating a game. Okay, guys. Uh, so if you have any question, you can ask. Otherwise, uh, we can wind up the session for today. Any questions? No. Sir. Okay. So, shall we wind up? Okay, sir. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.